Does every animal have their copy of weathering hooves? Hooray! I love Furry Friends Book Club. Now, let's discuss the theme of nature as it applies to Hoofcliff's love. Did some pony leave a light on? Oh, it's me. Oh, it's me! We'll continue this discussion when I get back! My little pony, my little pony Sure. Tons of fun A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you're all my very best friends? You're here! Isn't this exciting? You were called, too. Thank goodness. I feel so much better going with a friend. I was about to come and get you, but then I got distracted. Oh. Ever since the map called us, I've been doing a ton of research. Testing out potential friendship problems. Diversifying my solution portfolio. Ever since the map called us? But that happened five minutes ago. I know, but I want to be 100% prepared. I mean, I'm the princess of friendship. How would it look if I couldn't solve a friendship problem? Oh, I'm so lucky I'm being sent with you. Speaking of which, where are we going? The Smoky Mountains. Oh, I've never been there before. Neither have I, and there isn't a lot of information on them. All I could find was this. The Smoky Mountains harbor the most beautiful valley in all of Equestria between its two majestic mountain peaks. That's gorgeous. And where there's nature, there's a ton of animal friends. I can't wait to get started. I'm a little nervous since that's all I could find. I usually like to be a bit more prepared. You seem pretty prepared to me. Are those for us? Yep, I've prepared our things. Snacks. Blankets, books. You said books twice. There are a lot of books. Ooh. What do you think our friendship problem's gonna be? I don't know, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Uh, do you think it'll be a problem about lying? Oh, I'm sure we'll find out when we get there. You're right. be about when two friends just randomly decide to do something together, but they forget to invite the third friend, and the third friend feels left out? Or where one friend tells another friend's secret after they ask them not to? We'll know very, very soon, since we're almost there. Uh. Here, let me get that. Huh, thank you. Sorry, I've been a little skittly boppy boo. I just can't believe this is finally happening! Whoa, whoa! What an equester is happening! It's nothing like your book said it would be. Oh boy, I'm feeling very unprepared. Where do we even start? Maybe by figuring out where the flying pumpkins are coming from? Ready! Hello. Excuse us, but what are you doing? We're pumpkin in our neighbors. Yes, but um, why are you pumpkining your neighbors? Well, because the McColts are just plain rotten. Hey, wait a tick. Who are you two? You're not spies for the McColts, are you? I am Twilight Sparkle, the princess of friendship, and I'm here to solve your friendship problem. I'm Fluttershy, and, um, I'm here too. 
Ma Hoofield, pleased to meet you, but you're wasting your time. We don't have a friendship problem. We have a McCult problem. And there's absolutely no friendship there. Well, maybe there could be if we figure out what the McCults did to make you so mad. Oh, well, they've done so many things. Why, just today, they shot pebbles at our farmhouse and wrecked it. See, we're not very good at building, so all it took was a little pebble. But still! Oh, no! I know what to do. We're gonna talk with these McColts and hear their side of the story. Once we have all the facts, we can put an end to this using reason and rationale. Good plan. That's why she's the princess. In the meantime, could you please call off the pumpkining? Oh, all right. Thanks. Come on, Fluttershy. State your business. Don't even bother. They're probably spies for the hoof fields. Hey, wait. You're an alicorn. I thought just the three princesses were alicorns. There are four alicorn princesses in Equestria now. I am Twilight Sparkle, the Princess of Friendship. And I'm Fluttershy. We have a new princess? When did that happen? And, and, and how did the Hoofields come by a princess spy? We are not spies. Why does every pony assume we're spies? Because we don't get a lot of visitors. I'm Big Daddy McCult. You caught us at a weird time. We're in the middle of a giant feud with our terrible neighbors! Neighbors! Well, actually, that's why we're here. To solve your problem with the hoof fields. So you're here to help us get rid of them! No! That's not what I meant at all! Well, if you ain't for us, you're against us. on any pony's side. We're here to help you become friends again. Well, that's gonna be hard. I don't believe we've ever been friends with the Hoofield. But you could be. They're just really upset you ruined their farmhouse. Wait a hog woggling minute. We only did that because the Hoofields pulled the pin out of our wagon wheel. A whole week's worth of food rolling down the mountain. Us McCoats are mighty fine builders, but we don't know the first thing about farming. We have to travel a ways away to buy our food, and now we'll be stuck eating the pumpkins the Hoofields launched at us. Pumpkin bread, pumpkin soup, pumpkin quesadillas, pumpkin pie, pumpkin cheese, pumpkin pie, pumpkin fritters. Actually, that all sounds pretty good, but it'll get old. You tried meeting at a neutral location, talking about your problems, and really listening to each other. What? No! They'd sooner lock their dinners at us and listen to us. Well, they'll listen to me. I'm an impartial third party. Attention, Hooffields and McColts! I'm not on any pony side, but I can see you're both wasting time and resources on being mean to each other. Ponies are supposed to help each other and be kind. So, let's stop this senseless fighting! There! That should do it. Ready to go home, Fluttershy? I'd love to, but if we solved the problem already, shouldn't our cutie marks be glowing again? Oh, yeah. They should be glowing and minute now. Sure not. So much for potential friendship solution number 28. I 
guess we should find out why the hook fields are launching tomatoes now. One at a time, Green Hook. If you smush them tomatoes in the slingshot, they won't break on the McColes. What are you doing? I asked you to stop fighting. Oh, is that what you were hollering about? We thought the McColts rubbed you the wrong way, so we tomatoed them for you. My mistake. Stop the tomato slingshots! Reload the tomato slingshots! We're gonna paint their mountaintop red! Well, that didn't work. I was so sure it would. Good plan. You need to think of another one, and soon this fight is really affecting the animals around here. Not to worry. I'll just uh find the root of the problem and work from there. Pardon us, Ma, but do you remember what started this whole feud in the first place? They know what they did. They know what they did! I'm starting to think neither of you know what either of you have done. Sure we do. Them Hipfields did us a grave injustice some time ago for some reason. Here, here! Okay, backup plan to the backup plan. Maybe we can find some common ground that you can bond over. What do you do when you're not fighting? That's easy. Get ready to fight. What do you hope to get out of fighting? The satisfaction of winning! Of winning what? The fight, of course! To prove our family is the best! The best at what? Winning! Haven't you been listening? So the only thing they have in common is that they both want to win a fight and neither of them know what it's over. How can I end this feud if I don't know what it's about? Ooh! Maybe somebody just needs to say they're sorry! That's a good idea. And friendship solution number 48. But we can move it up. I'm so glad you agreed to do this. This apology cake will go a long way to making amends between you two. Which part of my argument changed your mind? The part where I said the benefits of friendship outweigh the cost of war? Or the part where I said forgiveness is an investment in happiness? Yeah, yeah, all of it. Wait, are you even listening to me? Who goes there? It's Ma Hoofield! Hoofield alert! Arm the cannons! With an apology cake! Did you say cake? As in cake? Consider it a gesture of goodwill from us to you. I haven't had cake in ages. Open the gates! It's such a beautiful cake. Think of this as more than just a cake. It's the first step in the long road to forgiveness. Nothing says let's be friends like a cake that says let's be friends. I wrote that in icing on the top. For glory! <laughs> McCall! I saved down to force formation! Apologizing. Why in a question here would we do that? We didn't do anything wrong! What are you talking about? You done so much fun wrong! Not as many as you! Just not yell 
so much, or maybe stop saying words altogether. Probably get back there. I mean, if you need a break, that's fine, but I really can't do this without you. I don't know if we can do this at all. Even if I make things right, they're just gonna fight again. Hey, little fellas. Well, that's okay. You can come out. What was that? enough food here for you. Oh, brr, and you're freezing. I'm gonna take you all home with me and get you all hot cocos. How do you feel about book clubs? I don't get it. This was supposed to be the most beautiful valley in all of Equestria. What happened? What's that? Oh. Uh-huh. Twilight! They know what happened here. What? There were two best friends, Grubblefield and Piles McCult. When they found the valley between the Smoky Mountains, they knew it was something special. So they made a promise to each other to protect and preserve the valley for all its adorable furry inhabitants. But they disagreed on how to go about it. Grub wanted to start by planting crops so that every pony would have something to eat. But Piles thought it would be better to start by building a shelter to protect them against the cold and wind. The two ponies were unable to come to an understanding, so Piles went ahead and built a shelter anyway, exactly where Grub was going to start his farm. Grub was upset, so he tore down Piles' shelter so he could plant his crop. They kept fighting back and forth until it turned into a feud. from the constant destruction until finally the Hookfields and the Colts moved to separate mountains. Even then, the valley and all the animals in it continued to be caught in the crossfire. You see, by fighting, you're destroying the very thing that brought you here in the first place. So it's time you both put your differences aside and come together. If not for yourselves, then for the sake of these cute and cuddly guys. Oh, shucks. We never meant to hurt you, little critters. Yeah, we're sorry. They say they accept your apology. Uh, Princess, uh, you can unfreeze us now. <laughs> Oh, right. Ma Huffield, we promise we won't fight you no more. Us too. Except we promise not to fight you. I suppose it doesn't matter who's right. We're both wrong. Well, that's one thing we can agree on. <laughs> you too. Oh, thanks, Princess. Though I would just like to point out that I was the uh, first to admit I was wrong. That may be, but I promise not to fight first. That counts for more. Oh, yeah?
Oh, all right. We don't have to speak animal to know what y'all are saying. Truce. Truce. are gonna help us rebuild our homes. Good ones this time. And the hook bells are gonna help us grow some crops. Not pumpkins. Thanks for teaching us that friendship is so much better than winning a silly argument. Yay! I told you we'd figure it out. We did. And we didn't need my friendship portfolio to do it. We just needed each other. Oh, what do you think will happen next? We've all been called by the map now. Huh. I'm sure we'll find out when we get home. What if it summons all six of us to another place? Or another pony we weren't expecting? <gasps> what if it wants us to solve other kinds of problems like quantum physics? Or why the apple doesn't fall 